My phone just died. Oh. What's up guys, Michael here. Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about power banks. Let's get started. All right, so first up, these. Just the standard tilt two pack battery bank. Now I've had these things for about a year and a half. The reason why I keep them around is they charge my phone so fast. Tilt claims that it's 2.4 times faster than a regular charger. Honestly, I think it's faster and it works perfect for my iPhone. It charges my iPhone up from zero to 50% in, well, actually, I, I don't really know. I've, I've never done that test. Quickly, very quickly. Now I picked this kit up about a year and a half ago for I think $45. Now I think you can pick them up on Amazon or eBay from 15 to $30, which is really awesome value. 5,200 milliamp hours, so it'll charge an iPhone 10, maybe one and a quarter times if you're using it while it's plugged in, which I never recommend. You've got a metallic matte silver on both sides with this black strip going all the way around. You've got a micro USB for charging this up, just in case you don't have the cradle with you. And you've got a regular USB port, and that's for charging your devices, again, quickly. You have this little button right here. Pressing that will let you know how much juice you have with these four LEDs that light up right here. Now while it's charging, either plugged in or on the cradle, those four LEDs blink in sequence to let you know. The first LED is 25%, second LED is 50%, so on and so forth. Those two metal connectors will align perfectly with these two metal pins inside of I'll cover that in a minute. Those two connectors are for using the charging dock, which sets right on the pins, it aligns itself pretty nicely, and starts charging. Let's talk about the stand. <laughs> Dusty. You would think looking at the stands by how deep the grooves are, that it's secure, so they're not going to fall over, but... Like that. All the time. But just in case the cradle's not your thing, you do have that micro USB port on the end so you can charge it with any micro USB. I'll use these up until they stop working. These guys are always on my desk. I don't like these as much as the Tilt 2 pack that I showed you before, just because they don't charge as fast, but they have a higher capacity. And in my opinion, they don't look as good. Now, functionality-wise, these are almost identical to the other tilt chargers I told you about earlier. But one thing that I really do like about these over the other ones is the charging dock has two USB ports. So you can not only charge up the batteries, but you can also charge up the devices with one outlet. The one thing I dislike about these is the same thing I disliked about the other ones. They're not sturdy whatsoever. Anyways, next up, the most portable out of the battery packs I own, the Tilt Flip Stick. Yeah, they don't really look appropriate, do they? You can pick these up with micro USB, USB Type-C, and then of course these ones that are lightning. I wish they came in a different color. I'm really not a huge fan of the blue, but it is what it is. Now these are 3,350 milliamp hour batteries. What makes these cool is not only is that soft touch material very durable and very easy to hold, but this little loop right here is not a loop at all. It's actually a USB. And then on this side, you have your lightning port. These are 3,350 milliamp hour batteries. They charge, eh, they only have a one amp output, so they charge as slow as you would expect. Put them in your bag, put them in your purse, keep them in your pocket. Very, very compact. You can pretty much put these guys anywhere. The nice thing is, is if you don't want to keep it in your backpack or your purse, you can also use this loop and loop it around something and carry it around that way. Surprisingly, that hold is pretty strong. I've never had an issue with it falling off my backpack. This last one on my list. This is the Anchor Power Core Plus 20,100. Now, as the name suggests, it's a 20,100 milliamp hour battery. This thing is a tank. It's made out of metal, but it has a matte finish, so that way doesn't show too much fingerprints or dirt. It doesn't scratch, or at least it hasn't scratched for me yet. Being such a big battery pack, it's heavy, really heavy. The reason why I love this one so much is because it doesn't use micro USB, it uses USB Type-C. With this USB Type-C port, 
you can charge up not only this, but you can also charge your devices. So I use this for my MacBook Pro, I use this for my iPhone, I use this for my tablets. Now this will give my 13 inch MacBook Pro almost full battery if I'm not using it while it's plugged in. And it also comes with a cool little bag, which I don't have anymore. Here's a basic picture of it. There's one single button on this one as well. This one, you have quite a few more LEDs in there. Now this thing takes forever to charge up. I would say probably six to eight hours, depending on what you're using. I use a MacBook charger with USB type C, so it only takes mine about five hours to charge. This is the battery bank that I always have in my backpack because I can charge my MacBook and my phone and my iPad at the same time. This also comes with a USB-C to a USB-C cable, so that way you can charge it or you can charge your other Android or USB Type-C devices. Anchor has obviously done something right here. They have an average of 4.5 stars with over 1,300 reviews. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.